Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So I did a number of versions of this song, Adagio. I first heard it from Dimash. Uh, you guys can see my reaction here if you're interested in doing so. I, I thought it was okay, but I wanted to see who else did the track, being that I had heard Laura Janssen had covered it. I, I also reacted to that if you guys want to see it here. So I found a version of hers, then I found a version in Italian. It was so, so good. Then I put them all together. You guys can see the full compilation here if you want to, and you guys all told me it was like again and again and again this is the version to react to so I'm very excited to check it out it is difficult to find versions you can watch or react to on here because they're copyright blocked however this one's not I already checked so anyway let's jump in this together thank you for letting me know about the track let's do it Thank you. 
right, well, I like that, obviously. You know what I liked a lot was, instead of adagio, it was adagio, and I love that jo at the end. That made it such a cool, great track, seriously something amazing. You know, when I was listening to this, when I had done the compilation and put them together, you're right, this is, this is so much better than that version in Moscow. But the Italian version was awesome, right? That was really good. And then Floor's version to me was so, so incredible. But I don't know, man, this is really something special. It's seriously, boy, could she sing. What a wonderful song. You know, I thought of Mariah Carey, and you guys are going to be like, oh, God, here he goes. But I'm actually not a Mariah Carey fan. So where she hit those octaves and she's going up in the scales, that's a Mariah Carey thing to me because that's what hit me in, I guess, the 90s when I was in high school. And so it was coming down the pipeline. The problem with Mariah Carey is I never felt soul. Well, this lady oozes soul. <laughs> so she was Mariah Carey with wonderful ability, I think. A fantastic singer. I'm not comparing. It was just a thought in my head. But wow, do I like her, Lara Fabian. So I'll see if I can find some other tracks I can react to. Like I said in the others, it's difficult because of this copyright block situation, which is tough. I don't quite understand it on these because it's, it's basically free advertising for these people. This is reactors, at least me. I don't make any money out of this, so I don't understand why they don't uh, let us expose these wonderful performers for what they are and bring them to more audiences. I did read she sold 20 million records though, so I think she's doing just fine. Anyway, thank you so much, really, really, for letting me know about this particular track, because I'm amazed, and boy, did I like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fans of Lara Fabian. Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.